Welcome back, everybody, to another Sabaton Reaction video. I have a uh, question, a poll question posted on our Patreon on what my next reaction video should be to a uh, Sabaton song, uh, but only a couple of votes so far, so we're going to let that keep going. And in the meantime, I'm going to do one that's not among the four that are in the choices that I've given. So if you want to have a say uh, in that vote, you can join for as little, I think, as $3 a month as a patron. Uh, just click on the link in the description below, and you can help support this channel. I would greatly appreciate that. But anyway, on to today's video. We're going to be watching Uprising. I haven't watched this yet, but I understand uh, this is most likely about the, uh, the Warsaw Uprising of 1944. I'm not going to say too much up front because I want to give it time to kind of play out on the video and then anything that doesn't get covered in the song itself, we can talk more about the history of what happened at the end. But the Warsaw Uprising was uh, a coordinated uprising that took place uh, in uh, 1944 by the Polish underground and it was uh, it was actually timed to coincide with the Soviet army marching toward Warsaw uh, so that they could cause some problems in the the rear of the Germans take over the city and then link up with Soviet forces and it worked beautifully all except for the fact that the uh, Soviet army stopped short of the city probably on purpose, probably so that the Germans could put the uprising down so that Stalin would have no trouble once he took over the city. Uh, it's just a real travesty of the war that that was allowed to happen because it could have worked perfectly uh, if they had gotten the support that they expected to get. So we'll go ahead and watch the video and uh, then we'll talk more about the history and how it ended up and what happened, the casualties, all that sort of thing at the end. Yeah, let's talk about this for a second because the, the start of World War I is officially considered to be the Nazi invasion of Poland in uh, September 1939. Uh, and, of course, the Germans had kind of faked uh, something that had happened to make it look like Poland had actually been the aggressors and that they were just responding. But they had that secret pact with Stalin and they, uh, the uh, Russians came in from one side at the same time the Germans came in from the West and uh, basically split Poland in two. Uh, and even though Britain and France entered the war at that point on the side of Poland, who was their ally, they really did very little to help. Um, because they didn't really actively get involved. They should have immediately invaded, uh, attacked on the Western Front in Germany, but they just kind of sat there. And I think that's what they mean here by the Allies just kind of left them on their own. Uh, but they never lost their, lost their faith. So by 1944, they've been under Nazi rule for the better part of five years. Uh, and you can imagine how it could feel like there was no hope. And yet they still had this incredible underground organization and they were prepared and they launched this incredible uprising. <laughs> I like that. Spirits fall 
human heart in accordance with the old traditions. 1944 so fighting street to street I, I think if i remember right something like a quarter of all the buildings in central warsaw were destroyed during this uprising it was that brutal the combat in street to street and it was basically just the poles uh, and some elements of what uh, was cobbled together of the Polish army. Uh, and again, the, the Russians by this point had gotten right to the outskirts of Warsaw and they stopped. And the Poles, uh, the, the underground, were trying to make radio contact with the Russians and they wouldn't do anything and they were expecting to get Russian air support and it didn't come. Eventually, uh, I think that Winston Churchill got permission uh, uh, to come into uh, Soviet airspace and actually drop supplies uh, to them. And I think even the Americans may have done a mission and dropped some supplies to help them out. Um, but it ended up something like 20,000 uh, members of the Polish underground were killed during all of this. And I think almost equal numbers of Germans may have been killed as well. But that weren't those weren't the only deaths. And we'll see if they talk about that. Like that that's my favorite part when they speak polish The saddest part about this is that because the Soviet army did not come to their aid and because they stopped short of the city, uh, the Nazis not only were able to overcome this uprising, but they also uh, exacted terrible revenge on the Polish population, the civilian population. And I think something upwards of 200,000 civilians were killed, mostly in mass executions, uh, as a uh, in reprisal for this uprising and so while it was incredibly heroic and could have really made a difference and i think it still did make a difference um ultimately the the goals fell short because they didn't get the help they needed and unfortunately that wasn't the first time that it happened but uh the polish people throughout the war uh, fought valiantly both civilians and, and war alike um I, one of my favorite stories from the war is I think the 303rd Squadron. I can't remember exactly the name, uh, but they were a Polish uh, fighter squadron that actually fought uh, in England during the Battle of Britain and actually was the number one scoring squadron of any 
of the units that fought on the Allied side during the Battle of Britain. Uh, and so that's just one more example of the fighting spirit of the Polish people, which I think was outstanding. They just never really got the help they needed. Uh, so I give all the credit into the world to those people for keeping the faith, for continuing to fight even after many years of oppression. And it's great to see that their nation is doing so well now. So um, if you have other thoughts or you have things you'd like to contribute to the conversation, I confess my knowledge of the Warsaw Uprising is not real great. Uh, so some of you and I know we have some Polish uh, people who watch this. I would love to hear your thoughts and, and how this is remembered today in Poland. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.